This past weekend was a pretty meaningful one for the Sioux City Musketeers, but not just on the ice, but off. Saturday was, of course, the team's annual cross check cancer guide night. And before that, on Friday night, the team honored their former goaltender, Matisse Keeve Lennox, who passed away this past summer. KCA Unite's Noah Sacco with our report in this week's Sports Spotlight. No matter how much time passes, Matisse Kivlenix is never far from the Sioux City Musketeers' minds. He was constantly that fun-loving guy. He was just someone that was a joy to be around, and you could tell that he had a true love and passion for the game. Spending just one season in Sioux City, Kivlenix left a lasting legacy with the Muskies, becoming one of the best players in the USHL while leading the team to the Clark Cup final in 2017. But his life was cut short on July 4th, following his death from a tragic accident, devastating current and former team members. Matisse, uh, the young man he was and the young man he was becoming, uh, might even supersede the player he was, and he was an excellent player. He showed up every single day with uh, passion and purpose, and he couldn't ask for much more from a, from a teammate, and he's surely going to be missed. Tonight we celebrate the life of this incredible young man, number 35, Keith Lennox. Last Friday, before the team's game against Tri-City, the Muskies held a ceremony celebrating the late goaltender, along with clips from Kivlenik's career, and a touching thank you from his family. Seeing like the reaction from the bench, like especially from uh, coach and other people that knew him, like it definitely made it more emotional. Now, looking back at coach, I know he knew him, and when I took the ceremonial puck drop with the Billet family, it really hit my uh, heart there. And the tribute reached its peak when Matisse's number 35 rose to the rafters, followed by an unveiling of the first Muskie ever to have his number retired immortalizing the Matisse name forever. It's something special, I mean, coming into our 50th year too and not having any jerseys retired and him being the first it just means something, how much he has left an impact on this community. In Sioux City, we're looking forward to his legacy live on. Noah Sacco, KCU 9 Sports.